Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about GPU threads. We are going to classify GPU threads into three different categories. Threads within a warp, threads across warp but within a block, threads across the block. First, we will start with threads within a warp. A warp contains 32 threads. Threads within a warp are always synchronized at the assembly instruction level and the threads must execute the same instruction over multiple data points. That's called SIMD, single instruction, multiple data. Let's say we are representing the assembly instruction with these black strips. And then we are representing the barrier with these dotted line. And then we have these two threads, thread zero and thread one from the same warp. Now, when we execute these two threads, then each of these threads are going to execute the same instruction. So this black strip is same as this black strip, but they can be over different data points. And once uh, once the instruction is finished, both the threads should be finishing that. It's not like thread zero will finish and thread one haven't finished yet. So both the threads will finish the instruction at the same point and they will have a barrier before moving to the next instruction. Threads within a warp can be masked if needed. This leads to thread divergence and introduce sequentiality. So let's say you may have some instruction which you want to uh, do with only thread one. You don't want thread zero to do that. You can do that. For that, you can introduce some kind of if statement saying thre if thread one equals to equal, if thread index equals to equals to one, then you do stuff. In this case, thread zero will be automatically masked out at the hardware level. So thread zero will not move further. It will be rather masked and wait until you reach this particular point. And similarly, thread one will be masked in this case uh, until thread zero reaches this particular barrier. Now we are going to move for move towards threads across warp, but within a block. A block contains 32 warps and or you can say 1024 threads because each warp contains 32 threads as we said earlier. Threads need not execute same instruction and threads can be arbitrary parallel. So in this case, this black strip and this black strip may be a different, completely different instruction. We don't really care what it is as long as both the threads are from different warp. Uh, yeah. Now in this, we have shown four different scenarios where we can clearly see that the instructions can be arbitrary parallel. In this particular case, thread zero is finishing all its work and then thread one is getting executed. In the, while in this case, thread zero is executing some of the instructions and then thread one is finishing completely and then thread zero is doing it. You can think of other possible scenarios as well. One can use sync threads to synchronize a thread within the block. Typically, there is no performance bottleneck for using sync threads. So let's say you want, so again, in these scenarios, all the instructions across these two threads can be arbitrarily different and arbitrarily parallel. But you may want uh, that before executing this particular instruction, thread one should complete this particular instruction and thread zero should complete this particular instruction. For that, you can introduce this globe, this barrier, which will basically tell the both the threads to stop here until the other threads have reached here. So let's say if thread zero has reached here first, then thread zero will wait until it moves, uh, until the thread one reaches here, and then both the threads will together move uh, from this point onwards. All the threads within a block have access to a limited special memory called shared memory. Each block has its own shared memory. As shown in this figure, there are multiple blocks and each block has its own shared memory and the shared memory will be common to all the threads within a block. Now let's move to the discussion on threads across the block. You can launch arbitrary number of blocks. The upper limit is usually very high. Threads are arbitrary parallel but can be synchronized using grid.sync or custom global barrier. Global memory is the only common memory for the threads across the block. So again, this particular scenario is very similar to threads uh, within a block, but across the warp, where the instruction can be arbitrary, arbitrary different and can be arbitrary parallel. Usually the cost of synchronizing across all the threads can be very expensive. So we need to use the global vari barrier very cautiously. One can implement the global barrier easily using atomics and while loop. Thanks a lot.